Hey guys, Cartagonist24 here, and welcome to my new Skyrim Legendary Difficulty playthrough. We're here today with the new character, Irlikia Redwood. Um, we're a wood elf, or a high elf. And, uh, I've started, a, I've got a mod list, uh, where I, I scroll quickly through all my mods. There's one mod I'm not using, if anyone doesn't notice when they're viewing the mod list segment, uh, I don't have the better loot mod or whatever enabled, it's disabled. So, just uh, for clarification there, and I'm gonna leave, I'll leave a, I'll put a timer on the screen or whatever, to probably like the end of the video where I'll put the mod list. And uh, yeah, other than that, let's just hop into this. Start with the fast alternate start mod. So, I spawned in the room here with the ability to choose where and like what I do at the start of the game, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the lover stone so we can just get that uh, across the board increase to my skills improving. We're not gonna take the werewolf because we'll leave that to doing the, the companion's quest line. Uh, we're not gonna start out owning property or in a faction. We could start stranded and helpless, but I think the most basic one we should start at is the guardian stones. All right, we are not gonna be enabling survival mode. So here we are at the Guardian Stones. Now let's go ahead and go into our abilities, equip some healing and some flames to start. Um, we have a sword and a bow. So we'll actually equip the sword. We have some arrows, hide armor and hide boots, some potions of minor healing. I do have a m mod on that changes potions so they restore over time so they're not you can't just go in your inventory and pop a bunch of potions and just instantly be at full health you gotta still play it like you're playing healing so i like that a lot same goes for your magicka or stamina potions not just the health either um yeah so we just got some generic stuff and uh highborn Let's go on up the hill here to start out, actually. Alright, we're just gonna head up the hill from the Guardian Stones here towards the mining encampment. Uh, or it's actually just over this way, so we'll probably equip our bow. Because we'll probably want a stealth shot on one of the guys here. Should be just underneath this overhang. Nice and easy here. Nice little sneak attack with the bow. Make it two. Now we're detected. Let's go ahead and equip our sword. Or let's just pull out our flames first. See if we can just torch them. We are on legendary difficulty, by the way. So this is gonna be a legendary difficulty playthrough. stuff. Anything we're not going to use, we'll sell. So let's equip the fur shoes. They're a small upgrade, as is the fur armor. The iron war axe is going to be a slight upgrade to the iron sword. So let's go ahead and equip that as well. And then we'll go back to our bow. I'm not going to be necessarily doing a sneak archer build or anything of the like. I may use bows, though, in, like, openings to fights, I'll take like one stealth shot or whatever, like just get a little bit of stealth XP. Uh, I'm not sure if I need this woodcutter's axe for when I get to Riverwood or if there's one there, but I'll grab it for now, but let's head on into Ember Shard Mine. Alright, here we are in Ember Shard Mine. Let's go ahead and grab a few ingredients as we're passing through. And we gotta worry about these couple guys. Up on the right here. Let's go ahead and drop a quick save down. This again? I told you, we have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget to save I missed the second stealth attack. Or oh, I got one just there. 
Okay, right here, I'm gonna need to... And dodge. I uh, got hit pretty good there. Let's give him some flames. We're gonna need to use this for healing though. I'm gonna double heal. Um, I think I'm gonna pull out the axe, the capabilities to block, so I can do some stunning. Bandits early are always pretty tough and legendary. Yeah, we're taking a big power attack right there, unfortunately. But yet these guys get you in a certain range, they'll just take you out with a finishing move and not give you any chance to fight back. So we can just take this guy out, we'll be in, uh, we're gonna finish her. Well, run it back. the water to get away from them temporarily. Hey guys, uh, I know we're fighting and all, but yeah, let's all just chill in the water for a minute. Okay, we let our Majika recover here, so let's get out of the water. And I'm gonna pull out the double flames here, just try and absolutely melt these guys. There we go. Didn't have to get too personal. Went a lot smoother than the first time. Let's go ahead and equip these bracers. I'm actually gonna equip the steel mace here, I think, instead of the steel war axe. Okay guys, it may have only been a moment for you, but it's been a little bit longer for me. Let's go ahead and open this up and try and get a stealth hit on this guy. Maybe this guy too. Nah, oh, we missed. See, these guys get pretty gnarly, but usually... We'll see if I can uh, apply Fury. If I wasn't bad. Okay, I've got one of them attacking the other now, so that should be very uh, beneficial. Let me get a bit of healing going real quick. And then let's stagger this guy. Okay, got the other guy attacking him. Let's attack the guy that we have with Fury. working out really well for us. Okay, it looks like we've managed to get ourselves a shield, which is nice. And I haven't found a helmet yet, so we're wearing the surslet. I don't think it counted as a sneak attack, though. It just keeps this guy staggered with some power attacks. Stagger him with the shield here, and then finish him off. I'm actually not going to take this key, because I want to get lockpicking XP off of the locks in here. Okay, I'm 
just gonna quickly raid all this for like we're gonna need a bunch of food and salt piles and stuff. But I'm gonna take these. Good stuff there. We got ourselves a banded iron shield, which is an upgrade. Clairvoyance and lesser ward. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and favorite lesser ward. It could come in handy against anyone wielding magic. Alright guys, I'm quickly just making my way out over to Riverwood because I need to sell some items. But... On the way, I get to test out my new banded iron shield against these here wolves. Blocks pretty good. These guys actually do some pretty good damage to you early game. You gotta be careful with multiple wolves. Try and take them down one at a time if you can. So yeah. Of course, cooking does increase my alchemy XP, so I'm going to want to collect meats and stuff of the like. It doesn't increase by much, mind you, but it is existence, so I should be actively working on doing it. always like to use my healing after a fight to full heal without waiting for the natural regeneration because it gives me more healing XP. And healing is definitely one of the slower scaling skills. Okay, here we are arriving in Riverwood. Let's go ahead and grab some ingredients and the like from around here. These uh, barrels are considered stealing, but these cabbages here are not, so we'll take those. Um, I'm not sure... Okay, those items just vanished. Oh, they have, they're on the ground now. Okay, buddy, it doesn't look like that I'm gonna just be taking those, but I, uh, alright. I mean, I guess, uh, the appearance just, uh, <laughs> made him think we were stealing those, but no, uh, Alvor over here is actually my buddy. I wouldn't steal from Alvor. Um, none of this is takeable right now, but if I talk to him and ask him if he needs some help around the forge, let me just quickly run through these little side quests to make him some weak items. Alright, we went ahead and sold all our stuff and it was 437 gold. We did end up crafting and tempering a hide helmet during his quest, so we'll go ahead and throw that on instead of the circlet. We'll probably end up selling this over time. at the General Trader, where I'm going to head now. After seeing as I... Oh wait, let me... What are you lock doing pick, here? some healing potions, silver ring, some drinks. You know, we're just going to take everything and sell anything we don't need anyway. Uh, what? Let's tell him about the dragon attacking Helgen. And now that I did that quest for him, I can get all of this iron and all of this steel for free. As well as a steel dagger, iron boots, and iron gauntlets. One of us has to do something. I said no. All right, no let's adventure. have a word with Luke and Valerius uh, and yeah. accept An ornament. You his could. quest got some to get, get the golden ship. claw back. It's yours if you bring my claw back. The sooner you trinkets, odds and ends. I also ends, wish sort of to thing. sell him. Steel dagger, tunic, the surslet, the newly acquired iron things. Um, sell the ring and necklace because they don't have any enchants on them. I'm sell all of the mead. Okay, let's have a quick look at what he has here. He has a fishing map for White Run couple spells. We already have Fury. We don't have Frostbite. Uh, we have Lesser Ward. Oak Flesh is probably actually pretty useful. Um, Raise Zombies are not bad, but I'm actually going to pick up Oak Flesh. Alright, well, we'll be on our way with no. our Tome of Oak Flesh. Uh, 
Okay, here we are returning to Ember Shard Mine. Let's quickly grab that ingredient I missed on my way through last time. Uh, I am now in possession of Oak Flesh, which should help out with the last remaining area in here, and I should really get a bit more loot to sell. And uh, yeah, all in all, it's going pretty well. After we're done here, we'll probably head up to Bleak Falls Barrow and get the Golden Claw back for Lucan Valerius. I don't want to head to White Run just yet. I'm going to take my time doing the story missions in this playthrough. I'm going to be doing a lot of side questing and getting powerful and the like. Okay, we got this archer on the bridge. I want to get a nice shot on him when he stops here. Got a sneak level just there. That's pretty nice. I'm going to take my shot right there and it doesn't go through. Try and line him up on the in the walkway here. Can't tell who's coming where. Okay, they're not coming. We're good. Let's try and get another shot. The archer's standing still now. So we'll go ahead and take two shots. Got both of them. Another sneak level. Love to see it. This guy's got a shield. This is going to be interesting. We need to get away and get oak flesh. Back up, cast out flesh. I love how we have 150 Magicka to start because of being a high elf. I also don't know why Highborn isn't equipped. That could come in handy here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my shield on. I have my oak flesh up. Hopefully, shouldn't be taking nearly as much damage here. Doesn't hurt nearly as bad as before. The two handed guys really suck though. Like, we're gonna get finishing moved here, I feel like. Let's back up. Throw all our healing down. Would have been smart to Fury here, probably. Um, I think I'm going to pop my Highborn. Get enough Magicka. Get the two-handed guy attacking anyone. And just pull out all my healing. I got lots of Magicka coming in, so I'm going to swap to offensive spelling. That we got these two guys down. The archers made his way here as well. Let's go ahead and feed up some more flames. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly loot up the rest of this place. I'll, I'll spare you guys me doing too much of the looting, but we're gonna head up there. There's a chest that we can lockpick, probably get a lockpicking level off of. Some iron we can collect around in here after. I'll come back for that though, and then uh, some more food and potatoes and whatnot. And then right down here, I'm gonna quickly grab these pieces of iron. I'm gonna save this book here though. This upgrades our smithing, so I'm gonna save that till we're high level in it. Grab a few more things here to sell, and some more ingredients, and uh, yeah. Catch you guys when I'm done looting up in here. I always like this table. You got a bunch of gems and gold. Grab our last chest here. We got a scroll of call to arms. Uh, could come up. Alright, coin purse. And this novice block chest. Should be able to get right into this nice and easy about there. Oh, it's up actually, I think about there. And we'll pick up our 83 gold and a lock picking level. If anyone's wondering why I haven't used my level up yet, it's because I'm, I'll save my level up until I am in desperate need of it in a combat scenario. So with that, we've cleared Ember Shard Mine. We will head back to Riverwood and sell the rest of what we've pillaged. Okay. Well, we just took some uh, potions here and a bit of extra gold. Um, hope they don't mind. I, I could have probably waited on that and got them anyway, but we just stole it because they're things that doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and cook up our dog meat. 
We're gonna make a bunch of potato soup. We're gonna gain some alchemy levels here. And make ourselves some apple cabbage stew. So that's uh, 140 instant HP sitting there, and we've got another 100 here, as well as some stamina if we need. Definitely not breaking into his chest when I'm standing like half a foot from him. We'll just take his hides so we can turn into leather. Till next time. Alright, we went ahead and sold all our stuff. Let's quickly uh crouch right beside him. I guess he's just really oblivious. I don't know about that one either, Chief. Uh, I don't know what that lockpick did. That kind of just like insta snapped. On a novice lock, nonetheless. Oh, goat hide. We can use that to make some more leather. Okay, let's go ahead and turn every one of those stolen pelts we got into leather. Make some more strips. Should be able to make some leather armor, boots, bracers, and a helmet, and then we'll just spam a bunch of leather bracers. We'll make some iron daggers, and now our smithing will be up a good deal. So I think it's time for us to put our first levels up in. It's probably where I'll conclude this first episode as well. So let's go ahead and increase our health, our health, our health, our health, and our health. And then get a tiny bit of stamina. So our health and magic are both 150 now. Thanks to our highborn abilities, we can have that 150 off the start for Magica. Uh, level 7. So let's go ahead and put our novice level restoration in. That's definitely something we want. And let's get our... Restoration dual casting as well. We definitely want the ability to heal very good, well. And healing spells will cure for 50% more. So we're going to be a healing machine. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of smithing in. Just a bare bones bit. I'm not going to go to Elven quite yet, but we're going to just have the first point there. Let's go ahead and improve our one-handed damage by a bit, and then we'll go ahead and improve our light armor survivability a little bit. Okay, we're up to level seven now. We've got some, we're getting a better bow after all that, but we got this basic build going now. We're at level seven, and I think I'm gonna leave this one here for now, guys. Uh, our boy, uh, Irlikia Redwood has made their first legs of the journey. We're dressed up in our fur armor, and we're ready to take on any challenge in the next one. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.